Hi, my name is James Vesey. I'm a photographer with Shutstock Editorial, and I'm going to be talking about my work in London covering this pandemic. So I've been a photographer for about 18 years, and I joined Shutstock in early 2019. The work I cover has always been quite varied, so from entertainment to news to royalty, so anything from protests, uh, political elections, to red carpet events, premieres. So the scale of this story is, is like nothing else that I've ever covered before. Um, and it was very tangible, the fear and tension, especially in the early days. Um, and it was important for me to be very sensitive to that while I was out shooting. I think it's very important that we don't add to the anxiety of those that are out, um, out and about. The access to the actual story has been quite restrictive, just the pure nature of it being a virus has meant that it's, it's very difficult for the media generally to show this story, the, this huge scale of it. I've tried to cover it um, the best I can, the stories, the uplifting stories uh, that I can find in the local community. So I did manage to find a, a young technology student who was printing face visors for the NHS with his 3D printer at home. Um, I also met the, the lady and did a portrait of her that, that came up with the, the Great Clap for Our Carers um, event that happens every Thursday here in the UK um, to support those on the front line. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been difficult. I think it's been very tricky generally to, to really convey the scale of this. So a typical day, I get up quite early and I try and check all the news media outlets, Twitter, um, to see if there's anything breaking. I then normally head into Downing Street. We have to get there very early these days because of the new social distancing rules. Because if you want to get that head on straight to number 10 Downing Street door shot, uh, which I sometimes want, um, it's become incredibly competitive and the police are very adept at keeping an eye on us uh, social distancing. After a morning there, we normally wire straight from the street because there's nowhere to go to wire from now at the moment because of the lockdown. Um, and then I'll just wander the streets of London looking for features, looking for stories. So there's so many ways this, this crisis have, has affected us all um, that there's almost a limitless amount of different ways you can shoot it. So that can be from anything from the graffiti to people wearing masks. Uh, places, businesses shut down, pubs, restaurants, um, to the more uplifting stories. So I'm biased on a photographer, but I've always felt photojournalism to be incredibly important, but never more so than during a crisis like this. As news gatherers, I think we're all incumbent to tell the truth, find the stories, inform the public what's going on out there, put pressure on the politicians, um, those in higher authority, if they need to make uh, changes to policies, not obviously shooting or writing for today's websites or tomorrow's papers. We're also providing future researchers and writers and historians the first account of this pandemic, this crisis, and help the, the general public record um, uh, inform um, decision-making. My advice for any young photographers or or wedding photographers is is literally it's very simple um go out and shoot keep your eye open there's pictures everywhere stay safe and be very mindful of the effect you may be having on those that you're photographing having said that um be truthful and um be bold <laughs>